Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Stampin' Chat Live. I am Gina from Gina K Designs, and I'm so glad to see all of you from all over the United States and all over the world. We have a special guest with us today. Let's look at who's here. Well, about two point or one point five. Yeah, one and a half guests. special guests. <laughs> Rena's here, and little Mishi's here. Mishi's hair is finally growing back in, so we're excited about that. We are. Yeah, uh, he got shaved for the summer. It wasn't intentional. Yeah, it wasn't on purpose. I asked them to just take him down a little bit. You guys remember how big he was? Look at him. He's scrawny. I'm tiny now, but it's okay. Less sweaty. He was so cold. He's so glad the warm weather is rolling in. And welcome, everyone. I'm looking for weather reports from all over the country. I know you guys always like to tell us how it's going there. Oh, no. Yucky in South Louisiana. Oh, goodness. Well, today we have some fun for you. But first, I need to tell you about what happened with the island. So for those of you that joined me last week, last Thursday, you know that we had to cut our live short so that we could get over to our new warehouse because an island was going to be delivered for my new stamp studio. Well, the next day, the island never came on that Thursday. And the next day, UPS dropped off a box that looked like a bunch of kids were playing with it outside. It was all dirty. And inside there was a vanity. It was like a little vanity for a sink, a bathroom sink. And the box was, the flaps didn't even meet. They were like, they couldn't even touch. They weren't closed. And it, was, it had scotch tape on it. And it had a label on it that it was addressed to some other person. So then I thought, okay, so they made a mistake. I tried calling Amazon and Amazon said, well, they're still going to deliver and it'll probably get there by next week. Well, then on, I guess it was yesterday or Monday. What day was it? I can't even remember. The order got marked delivered on Amazon. So I called Amazon back and it turns out that this is some kind of big scam that there isn't e there was never going to be an island delivered to me. This looks like some kind of stolen merchandise that was just thrown into a junk box and tossed on our step. So this was a very expensive piece of furniture. And their Amazon is sending somebody to come and pick it up, and they're going to refund our money. So we're back to square one. We don't have an island. But we're, we're thinking we're going to make do. We're going to use a shipping table for a while. And so when I do my little studio tour, I will show you the shipping table we're going to use. And then maybe down the line, we'll upgrade to an island. This way, we could get started over there faster. So that's the story. So um, I'm seeing it's beautiful in all parts of the country and even parts all over the world. We've got some sunshine, some of the, what are those bugs called that are... Uh, the big ones. There's cicadas. Is that what they're called? They're, I don't think they're cicadas. I, think, I thought they were like stink bugs. No, I think cicadas are infesting certain areas like Ohio. And I think they're in Maryland right now. Um, and they and they make a lot of noise. They scream. They're screaming yeah. bugs. I, I don't think I could deal with screaming bugs. But if you've got cicadas, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested in, in how it is. Are they flying all around you or is it just that you can like see them out there? Whew. Okay. I have, um, I have a window that I always had open and there were bugs flying in all the time. Like I would get Brian to kill a wasp, then one of those big bugs, then two wasps, then they'd team up and they'd have a whole <laughs> army. And I didn't know what was going on. I was like, well, I guess it's just my window. And one day Brian opened my blind and my window had been open like this much the entire time like all winter and i was like oh man these bugs are just creeping in there i had like a portal into my room with them so yeah that was kind of oh not man the best. but i did kill one of the bugs on my own this week bravely you did yeah that's pretty good i'm not a bug killer no, i think I... that's a perfect reason to get married yeah no i agree <laughs> um one of my so... last relationships i learned about a year in that he was allergic to bees like deathly allergic. And I learned at that moment, not that a bee could kill him, but that I was responsible for killing all the bees in the future. Not bumblebees though. We love bumblebees. Yeah. I'm talking wasps with the legs. Yeah. They're, they're the worst. Like <laughs> and you have good news. Do I? Yes, you do. Your favorite drink. Oh, I, I literally was talking about this like 10 minutes before. <laughs> High C is back at McDonald's, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if anyone knew or cared, but just know that I am very happy today. 
that yeah. High C is back at McDonald's. Orange High C. So is Mishi, yeah. even though he doesn't get any. He just knows because he gets a trip to McDonald's. He just likes to go to the <laughs> drive through Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Arena does have screens on her windows, but I think the windows that she has in her condo. The they, windows don't have idiot protection. That's the problem. <laughs> I didn't shut the window. <laughs> Yeah, and the window can open either from the top or the bottom. So they're pretty cool windows unless you're, you're open idiot, yeah. <laughs> and you don't put your screen up. All right. Well, it's great to see all you guys today. So we have a really cool technique to show you. Now, you may remember way back when the A Little Love stencil bundle came out, I showed you a way to use a background stamp to create a pattern in your stenciled images. Well, we're going to take that up a notch and I'm going to show you, we're going to show you how to do it with other stamps in your collection. And you already have stamps in your collection that will work. I am sure of it. I'm going to show you a couple different ones that we can use today. I just grabbed them right out of my stamp stash. So all you have to do is find things that are similar and you will be able to do this right away today. So let's get to the overhead and see what we got here. So I'm going to be using the little hello bundle and Rena's going to use the a little love bundle. So we're going to do different cards, but we're going to do the same kind of layout and the same technique. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh my gosh, thank you for the update for I see. Oh, Everybody I know, right? I Well, we were on our way to McDonald's last night and then I said to Brian, I really hope he was like, when are they getting high C back? I saw that they were mentioning it sometime in the summer. I'm like, probably won't be till June. We pull up and there's a giant sign that says high C is back. Oh, man. I start hitting him. I'm like, go, go. Get the <laughs> okay, so I want to show you a couple stamp sets here. So this is the stamp set by Melanie Menchinger called Beautiful Bees. This is a great stamp set to use for this technique. You can also use the My Anchor stamp set. And I'm I'm glad that I did a video on this the other day because I like to do more than one thing with a stamp set and this flower will work really well for this technique. Now here is a stamp set from last Christmas, the festive flower stamp set. This will work with the technique as well. What we're looking for is front facing flowers. So look through your stamps and find some front flip, front, that's hard to say, front facing flowers and you will see how cool this is. So what I want to show you here is, here is the layering stencil for a little hello. Now what you want to do is you want to find a front facing flower that has a center point. And then you can see what that's going to look like when you stencil on top of that. Isn't that cool? Okay. Down here the same way. This one would work really well. Now for Rena's set, a little love, same thing. You just find that center point of the flower, right? Same with this one down here. Now look how pretty this looks even on this poinsettia. See how it gives you all that cool detail? You can also do it with the My Anchor stamp set. And this one's kind of cool because you would get a lot of detail, but then the edges would be plain. So you could darken up the edges with another color. It is cool. All right, so why don't we use this stamp set today? This is the Beautiful Bees stamp set. And um, for your card, how about if you use the bigger flower? Okay. Not the bigger, but the wider petaled flower, and I'll use the more intricate flower, okay? okay. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do... There you go. Thanks. The first thing that you want to do, mine is already on this block is you're going to want to emboss your uh, flower. So I'm going to use the embossing magic pad, or as Rena calls it, the dust bag. The dust bag. <laughs> and then I'm going to use some embossing ink. Am I doing this on mine too? Yeah. I'm going to use some embossing ink, and I'm going to get that nice and inky. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp my flower right here. Now, we're going to cut these flowers out. And this technique will work if you wanted to stamp the flowers all over, but you would have to kind of line them up. And I will tell you the way to do that. If you wanted to do this technique on the full stencil, all you have to do is lay your stencil down on a piece of cardstock and then put a couple little pencil dots around the petals 
everywhere that there's petals, like right close to that center mark. And that's how you'll know where to center this flower on your piece of paper. But we're going to be cutting these out. So we're only going to be doing, you know, one flower. So, okay, you got your flower. And then I'm going to, that's a new stamp, so I need extra ink for sure. I'm going to use this white embossing powder. Now, of course, white's very hard to see on camera. So you'll get the idea once we actually start to do the technique on top. And then I'm going to... Can you move? <laughs> yeah, cover up you. <laughs> I'm going to emboss my flower. Here you go. Okay. So I just wanted to heat up the tool a little bit, and I was trying not to burn Rena. Hopefully that's good enough. Usually with embossing ink, that first stamping usually works just fine. So I don't know if I smudged a little, but we'll know really quickly here. Okay, oh, looks good. Looks good? Okay. Let me close this up so we don't have an embossing powder disaster. Oh, come on. Live a little. Oh, Heidi, that's so fun that you met a woman in one of the live chats. That's great. You craft together. Oh, that's so awesome. That's what I love. That's the beauty of our um, of our little community here. It's so much fun that we're, we all get to be together and get to meet each other in real life. Hey, Tom, can you grab some paper towels? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what we're going to do next is we're going to use our stencils. So Rena's going to use her stencil, her flower stencil. You want to pick one that's going to be easy to cut. So I'm going to use this one because it doesn't have a small flower close by. I could also use this one down here. And then what we're going to do, let me get some purple tape. Mishi's so cute. He's sitting off to the side, just relaxing. Mishi sits like a person. I know. It's really weird. When he was Thank a puppy, you. I thought it was just going to be a little phase, but that's not the way phase. he sits. That's just the way he sits. <laughs> <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is I can see, I know you guys might not be able to see. You might be able to see a little bit. Let me see if I can tilt it. You see? Kind of. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to find the center of this flower. And then I'm going to position my stencil over the center of the flower. And then once I have it in position, then I'm going to just use a little bit of purple tape here just to tape it down. So there we go. And remember, this doesn't have to be perfect because this isn't part of the layering stencil set. You're just using the details in here. Welcome, welcome everyone who's just joining us. All right, so Rena has made the commitment earlier to use turquoise for hers. Yes. Um, but what color would you like to see me use, guys? Should I'll give you a choice. Should I do pink or should I do purple? So let's see what everybody says, pink or purple. I'm waiting for answers. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we're staying, we're, we're doing well here. We're staying away from bugs. Okay, I got a purple and a pink. <laughs> Staying away from the circadas. We don't have those here. All right, we've got two, three. Oh, purple's winning out. Purple. Purple is my clear winner today. We got the token coral in there. I appreciate Pur you. I see you. <laughs> You're valid. You're valid. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing a few more purples than I am anything else. I do have a pink sample somewhere that I dropped on this table. So I can show that to you afterwards so you can also see what it looks like in pink if I can find it. All right, so for purple, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Lovely Lavender and I'm gonna use Wild Lilac. And then Rena made this commitment to go with uh, turquoise. So what do you think, sea glass and Turquoise C to darken it up. Okay, so this brush is more sea glass than that one. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna just clean off my brush because I got a lot of purple on here. Okay. 
Actually, I'm going to clean mine off on a paper towel. Make some room. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with the lovely lavender. Okay, Wilma, thank you for stopping in. It was great to see you. I know people are stopping in on their lunch hour at work and stuff. Use both colors. Oh, I could. I could. Well, let's see how this goes first. All right. So I've got a lot of lovely lavender on here. I'm going to start with my brush right in the center. And I'm going to go in a circular motion and work that color toward the outside. Oh, I love the way this looks. Look how fun that is. Look at all the cool texture. Okay. So then I'm going to go with my darker color next. I'm going to ink up my same brush because I only have one purple brush here. So I'm going to go with a little bit of the wild lilac here. And I'm going to go again right in the center. And then I'm going to add that darker purple. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Now we're going to take the stencil off. And for this, you only have to use the one stencil. You don't have to use the second stencil. And what we're going to do is you might want to ink even more around yeah. the outside there. Although, no, you don't have to because you're going to actually cut it out with this die. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Awesome. Yeah. So now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to rub over the surface to remove any of the excess that's kind of sitting on the top. How do you want to know what you're using for the bottom stencil? What I'm using for, for the bottom stencil? Yeah. So the bottom stencil, oh, so the first thing that I did was, if you just tuned in, I stamped using this flower with embossing ink and white embossing powder. Then once I heated that up, I moved to the first stencil in the Bold Flowers stencil set. This comes from the A Little Hello stencil bundle. Rena did the same thing. She used this bottom flower, and this stamp set is called Beautiful Bees. She used the bottom flower, and then she stenciled on top using the first stencil from the Ruffled Flowers layering stencils. And that came out of the A Little Love Bundle. So now that we've got that done, now what I'm going to do next is, Rena doesn't have to do this because she doesn't have a center of her flower, but I do. And so I want to stencil, I want to stamp right over that. So I'm going to use this solid stamp here and... I am going to stamp it in black onyx ink. Let me zoom in a little so they can see this up close because we really got the airplane view here. And welcome everyone. Welcome any of our new viewers from Twitch. It's great to see you here. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp this using the black onyx ink. Okay, and I'm gonna do my best to stamp it in the center the best that I can. And I'm really putting pressure down. So I'm like wiggling it a little bit just to get that pressure on there. And then I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm gonna blot up any of the excess ink from there. I don't wanna rub it cause I don't wanna smear black ink all around. So I'm blotting the ink up off of that embossing powder. So that gives me a more detailed center. Isn't that cool? It's Beautiful. just a really fun looking technique and it stretches your stencils so much because although these stencils are beautiful just the way they are, there's no doubt about that. Having this extra kind of texture in there just makes it a little bit more fun. So now we're gonna both do our leaves so that we can um, have a few leaves. Now you could add texture to these leaves. You could stamp the same designs. You could stamp other designs. You could even stamp like the fluffiness of the bee and then do, you know, the leaves over the fluffiness of the bee like that to just get a little bit of texture in there. You could stamp the flower, the, those leaves and get texture going through like that if you wanted. But I think for the sake of time, since we only have an hour, we're just gonna go ahead and stamp a few leaves 
I'm sorry, stencil a few leaves and cut them out and just have our flower be the main focal image for our, our designs today. So let's zoom back out again so that we can do our leaves. What color would you like to do your leaves, Rena? I'll do um, jelly bean green. Jelly bean and fresh asparagus for your second layer then? Sure. Okay. And I'll do apple mint and lucky clover for my second layers there. So mine are going to be a little bit different. Okay. So when you're doing the layering stencils, the one thing that you want to make sure is that you have the writing that's on the bottom of the stencil here, the etching. It says Gina K Designs Bold Flowers 2 toward the bottom. This way it'll be easier to line them up. And the other thing you want to make sure that you do is that when you when you pick a vine to stencil, both sets only have a vine die going in one direction. So you want to make sure, see how this is going in the wrong direction? I wouldn't be able to cut that out. I think you I think you'd be able to cut that one out. It's the other ones, I think. Ooh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I would be able to cut this one out. But if I wanted to are these all the same? Maybe they are all the same on this one. <laughs> I think on yours they're different. There's only one Oh yeah. Yeah. See the vines go in both directions on yours, so you wouldn't want to do that one. Mm -hmm. See, because you're not going to be able to cut that out. So you want to make sure that you stencil one that you can actually cut out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one I guess I did a little bit differently when I was putting it all together. Alicia drew all of these for us and um, then I laid them out. So I, I, I knew that I did these differently, but I thought I did these differently too. Okay, so I'm going to start with the apple mint. I'm gonna go with the lighter color ink and I'm gonna do several of the leaves. And I can put them anywhere? You can put them anywhere because we're just gonna cut them. Yeah. All right, so. I'm going to cut, do this one down here. And don't worry if you get ink in the other spots because these are all going to get cut out. I'm putting tape on these spots just because I don't want... I know I'm cutting them out. I just don't like to see blotches when I'm stenciling. It's Good okay. practice. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this one up here too because I think I'm going to cut at least three sets of leaves. So how's everybody doing? And welcome, welcome, everyone. Yes, that's true, Eileen. We could just flip the stencil over to do the opposite one. But there is definitely one that does go in that direction. So it won't be necessary to do that unless, you know, we wanted more of them and we just wanted to do the whole job at one time. Okay. So there I have three. And now I'm going to take, this is stencil two. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put stencil three on top. Let me find the words. Sometimes I can't even see them. I have to just go for like the feel. All right, there we go. So I'm just laying that on top. They are really easy to line up. So I'm trying to debate if I want to go with, um, with the other green or if I want to add a blue into it. Mm, I think I'll go with the green. I'll go with the green. Okay. Can always add blue after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this next color that I'm using is Lucky Clover. And I'm gonna add some Lucky Clover onto the bottom of each of these. I'm just doing jelly bean green all over and then I'm building fresh asparagus at the bottom of the twig. Oh, nice. So I like that, but I am gonna add a little bit of blue right at the very bottom. And I think the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna clean the stencil just so I don't contaminate my brush too much. I'm gonna use a little bit of tranquil teal. Just that dark, that very, very dark teal. And I'm gonna add it just at the very edges of my leaves. So just bringing it up a little bit just to add a little, little something in there, a little something, something. I think I'm good with these two leaves. Oh, they look good. Do you want to do any small leaves? Mm. You might want to when you see mine. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, do a couple. 
I need your thing. Oh, I'm here? Yeah. Oh, these are yeah. leaves. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what I thought those were. <laughs> they kind of look a little water droplet-y, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, see, isn't that pretty? That just gives it a little bit of extra having that turquoise in there. Oh, no. Rita. Cicada-infested Columbia, Maryland. So you're at ground zero there, huh? So so tell me, Rita, when you um, when you have cicadas, do they fly? Do they like like are they all over you? Is it like a biblical event, or <laughs> or is it just like you, you like hear them or you see them all over? What's the deal? I don't think we have anything. Well, we get mosquitoes. That's like a biblical event in Wisconsin in the summer when it starts to get like damp and mm -hmm. stuff. It gets pretty, pretty infested. Pretty whack. Yeah. Around these parts. Yep. Especially around the water. Not around Lake Michigan, but around like local lakes. The water is like smaller. Small water. <laughs> Not big water. <laughs> Not big water. Like Lake Michigan. Small, small water. water. <laughs> That's the new name for lakes. They're, yeah. Oh, oh, are they? Yeah. They fly. But badly. Oh, okay, Ellen. They, they're bad flyers. So they're, they're not very good, good at it. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. They fly, but badly. <laughs> oh, well, that's better. I'd, I'd, I'd prefer them to be bad flyers. <laughs> not very good at it. All right, so I'm going to... Um, wow, you just... I'm sorry. <laughs> right off the screen. Hey, do your second layers. Put some vines oh in there. Gosh, all this work. I know. But <laughs> I did all the detail with the green, though. I thought that's all I had to do. Yeah, but wait till you see when you add it again with the darker. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so I've got my die cutting machine out here, and I'm going to cut this flower out. So this die is very easy to line up. Some of these are a little more pointed, the petals, some of these, and some of these are rounded. But the thing is, is that there are eight petals and all four pointed ones are the same and all four rounded ones are the same. So you just have to figure out like one pointed one and you, you'll nail it. Okay, here I go. I'm cutting. Oh, that's pretty. That is nice. I actually do like that. It's a lot better. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at this up close. I'll see if I can get close to the camera. Can you see all the fun detail in that? Oh, I love it. So I know I've been doing a lot of flower cards lately. Flowers are kind of my thing. But for those of you that are excited about some other types of cards, I just want you to know that in June, early June, June 7th, I believe, we have a new release coming out. And I have a new kit coming out. And in this kit, there's something that you guys who are kind of sick of flowers are going to love so much. That's all. That's my big hint. That's all I'm giving. It's not a flower. It's not a flower. That's the hint. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Oh, they look good, Marina. That's what you should name the kit. Not a flower. Not a flower. The not a flower kit by Gina K Designs. <laughs> well, there are there 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 are some flowers because <laughs> you know me. I can't never not have any flowers. But there's some, there's a set in there that is completely not flowers, and you're gonna love it. And it's going to be perfect for cards that, if you want a card that doesn't have too feminine of a feel. All right, so there's my first little vine. And then, oh, Eileen, I know, me too. I could never get sick of flowers either. <laughs> oh, so what's going on? Let's see. I'm reading the comments. Some people eat cicadas. Oh, dear Lord have mercy. I've heard that though. And I, I mean. It sounds crunchy. Yeah, that sounds not appealing to me at all. If they were the last things on earth, I guess, maybe, but I would certainly try all the poisonous plants first to yeah, see what I could survive. Poisonous berries. <laughs> I'd give it a shot. <laughs> oh, but if you do eat them, wow, that's like free groceries. <laughs> Yeah. During a, during a, uh, what do they call it? 
I don't know. <laughs> trying so to follow your I... thought. <laughs> oh, so you're next, Rena, for the die cutting machine. Oh, what did I do here? Am I going to tear that? No, I'm not. Okay. Luckily, this time, usually I end up just stamping or die cutting all the same leaf, and then they're all going in the same direction. But today I nailed it. I've got them going in both directions. So, okay. So I'm trying to decide on the greetings. Should we stamp a greeting this time or should we cut out a big word? What are you in the mood for, Rena? I would like to stamp the greeting. You want to stamp a greeting? I right, can do that. I can definitely stamp a greeting. All right, so here is another leaf and I'm gonna cut one more and then I'm gonna turn this die cutting machine over to Rena, and she can work her magic. Okay. So I've been doing a lot of wood graining lately. And then the other day I did some spot stenciling and I think that was really fun. So I think today we should do a little spot stenciling. Spot stenciling is where you don't use the entire stencil all over the background. You just use a little bit of the stencil, but it gives it kind of more of a look of texture, not so much color. So we're going to use very neutral color to do that. All right. Your discussion on knockoffs. Yes, thank you. Thank you for mentioning that. My discussion about knockoffs. So I was planning. Ow, my a, toe. Sorry. I just crushed under a wedge. <laughs> sorry. I have to have high shoes on when you're here because otherwise, you know, the camera can't be adjusted. Um, so I promised everybody that I would be talking about knockoffs. And I want to talk about knockoffs, but. I haven't done it yet. It's going to try to do it this week. Um, I think I'm going to push it until next week because I really want to get my thoughts together and I really want to discuss um, all the fine details. And I'm actually have been talking to a couple of my company owner friends because I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything that's happened to them maybe that hasn't happened to me so that I can give you the full details. I want you to have all the facts. But I will just give you a quick sneak peek of one item that, Tom, can you reach that top bin? One item, I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek about how deceptive these knockoffs really are. So when I came out two years ago with background stamps, it was maybe two years ago, maybe a little longer, I came out with this beautiful background stamp. This is deeply etched rubber. It's on cling cushion. So you can see it's got cling cushion on the back. And these are all hand vulcanized by um, a, another small business that we work with to create these for us. We get them raw like this. We clean them because after they're scroll cut, they've got dust all over them. Like not dust, but like the remnants of the foam. We clean them and then we hand package them. Well, as soon as this background stamp came out. People loved this background stamp and it became very popular and it was knocked off on one of the knockoff sites. So I saw it and I thought, oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta see what this is all about. And I bought it and I want to show you what I got. This is what I got. <laughs> this is what I got. I mean, it's, it's different. It's not a background stamp at no. all. They were, they were, selling it as a big, beautiful background stamp. And they used my picture in their listing. So this was the picture in the listing. This is what I got and it's made of silicone. It's not made of photopolymer. So it repels liquid Ugh. the way caulking does yeah. for silicone. You know, you put it around your tub and stuff. It doesn't take the ink. So, I'm going to tell you a lot more about this stuff, but that's a little sneak peek about what's to come in my discussion about knockoffs. And you're going to, you're going to, we'll have a few laughs together and maybe even a few tears. In the meantime, look at all these that I cut out. Yeah. Flowers oh, they're there. pretty. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. So Rhea, would you do me a favor and would you cut out some ovals for us? Yeah. Okay. So here's some ovals. Here's some oval dies. 
Um, you want to use the die cutting machine for this? I suppose. So yeah. So we need two white, two white double stitched ovals. And I'm thinking, should we do the smaller ones? Yeah. Let's do the smaller ones. So we need two white ones of those. Here's a piece of white cardstock. And then we need two black ones of the medium size single stitched oval. Oh, my nails. My nails. You know what? Crafters aren't supposed to have nice nails. Speak <laughs> for yourself. <laughs> yeah, but and you know, mind your you, li you live with a hairdresser. <laughs> you live with a beautician. So you get to have nice ones. <laughs> so we're going to cut the single stitched one out with the black cardstock. Let me see if I have some of those already pre-cut. I might. Oh, I do. So you don't have to cut the black ones. So let me show you how this works. If you're new to Gina K Designs, our single stitch dies and our double stitch dies work together to create that cute little shadow layer. So even though they're almost the same size, they're not exactly the same size, so you get to have the nice shadow layer. So you can use them for the same applications if you want a single stitch or a double stitch. But if you want to use them together, you can get that fun little edge, which is so nice. All right, so thank you, Rena. Now we're going to do a little bit of spot stenciling. So, Rena, can I have that paper cutter? Yes. All right. So I'm going to just cut some plain rectangles. You certainly could use the master layout dies for this if you want, but I'm going to cut a rectangle that is three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches. One for you and one for me. If you see any questions or comments, Rena, let me know. I'll I will be happy to respond. Yes, thank you so much. That's that's it, that's exactly right. Buying knockoffs because you can't afford the real thing is no excuse. Well, you know what? I agree with that so much. And the big problem that 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 causes is um, this one is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. The big problem that that causes is I've had some friends that have had stamp companies that are now out of business because they couldn't fight all the knockoffs. And now their designs aren't available anymore to be knocked off. Mm -hmm. So, you know, people think I'm getting a good deal because I can buy that stamp set for so much cheaper. Number one, you're not buying that stamp set. You're buying, oops, you're buying something that is designed to not hold ink. Yes, it doesn't <laughs> hold ink. It doesn't work as well. Uh, the designs aren't the same. The images aren't crisp because they're screen grabbed. And I'll explain what that means when I do my, my live. And you put the businesses out of business over time that actually come up with the designs. So those knockoff sites will have no good designs to steal anymore. And you're going to be out of, of good designs. So I don't know. It hurts everybody. Okay. So I'm going to get a couple of stencils. Which stencil would you like to use, Rena? There's so many here that work for this technique. Um, let me do, I mean, this one. Okay. Oh, that's one. so cute. That, yeah. yeah. All right. And I'll use the Harvest Flourish. Mm -hmm. I think that looks more like that line anyway. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a really light color. In my case, I'm going to use Soft Stone. Do you want to use Soft Stone too? Sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to use Soft Stone. I did use Whisper the other night and it was so light. You almost couldn't see it. So, um, I couldn't photograph it well. You could see it nicely in person. but So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay this stencil down. It doesn't really matter where. I'm just going to hold it. I don't even have to like really worry too much about it. Um, and then I'm going to just add a little bit of color. I'm going to start in the center, and I'm going to work my way up. Unlike my mother, I'm going to worry about it. So I'm going to put some purple tape down. I taped the back of my piece of paper down too. So this, I'm not, I'm not stenciling over the entire stencil. I'm leaving those edges white. See how that looks? It's just like a, it's kind of a mist, you know? It's just kind of coming out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. I love that look. I really like that. So just in the middle? I just do it in the middle. I just work my way out lightly, like right 
starting in the center and work your way out. Yeah. It just gives it a really interesting feel. And now I'm just looking up and I'm seeing that we've got about 200 more people than we had when I welcomed everybody before. So welcome to all our new friends joining us from Facebook, from YouTube, and from Twitch. It's great to see all of you guys here. We're having a lot of fun today. Now I'm going to try to figure out what kind of greeting would work here for this. I do feel like I want to do a big die cut greeting. I mean, we have 20 minutes, so we, oh, that looks nice. So we could do big die cut greetings if we mm -hmm. want. Um, let's do it because a lot of people with our sale, and I don't know if you guys know, but we're having a sale right now over on our website. You can get 15% off of everything, everything but gift certificates. It doesn't work on gift certificates. Um, and the code, the coupon code is spring 15. So spring, like we're, we're in the season of spring and then 15 for 15% 15 off. So since a lot of people just recently bought this bundle, we oh, see, I like the way that looks where you just see that little mist of design coming out of the edge. Mm -hmm. And then let's put this together as well. Okay. Um, I think it'd be fun to, to use the big words since, it, since a lot of people just bought these stencil bundles. They probably would love to have another idea. So let's do it. Okay. Now, I used Lovely Lavender and um, Wild Lilac. So I think the right card base color for me is definitely going to be the, um, did I say lovely lilac? I meant lovely lavender. Gosh, I don't even know my color. So I'm going to get lovely lavender. I have to walk all the way over here. So I got to yell so you guys can still hear me. <laughs> and Rena. What? Sea glass for you? Sure. Okay. All right. So we've got lovely lavender and sea glass. So Cut both of those at four and a, yeah, four and a sure. quarter. So Rena's going to use the big paper cutter because she's going to cut them tent style at four and a quarter inches. And that's over there. So in the meantime, while she does that, I'm going to use the die cutting machine and I'm going to cut some words out for us. Where'd that go? Ooh, can Wait, I four? Uh, four and a quarter. Oh, yep. I see. Under this. Yes, thank you. Okay, so I've got the die cutting machine here, and I'm going to cut out two words for us. I'm going to cut out the love for Rena's card and the hello for my card. So we're sticking with the bundles that we started with. Epic. This way, anybody that's choosing one bundle over the other will have everything that they need to make either one of those cards. When you do this, I'm going to hold Mishi. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I appreciate that. We do have a lot of retailers all over the world. Believe it or not, we are in, I don't know how many countries, but a lot of countries. And they're all wonderful places to buy our products. So you don't have to worry about buying from other places other than Gina K Designs. There are great retailers out there and there are great retailers internationally out there. Um, the name of Rena's background stencil is Water Droplet. And the one that I used was Harvest Flourish. So, um, you don't have to be afraid to purchase from places overseas. You just want to make sure that you're not purchasing a knockoff. Well, how do you know? Well, the way that you know is, honestly, it's price. Unfortunately, because the knockoffs are using things like silicone to make their um, their stamps and they're using lead in their dyes, um, their products are going to be a lot cheaper. The reputable factories, and that includes factories in China that manufacture for a lot of the U.S. companies, do not use lead in their dyes. They do not use silicone in their stamps. They use high-quality steel and photopolymer. In fact, most of the steel that comes into that the dyes in this country, in the U.S., are made of um, are steel that we get from China. So, it's not, it's not about China. It's about knockoffs. 
All right, so there are those two beautiful words, hello and love. Okie dokie. So, just throwing things everywhere. <laughs> it's such a mess when I'm done. It looks like I, I am the messiest crafter in the world. I truly am. Yeah, you guys should see outside of the frame right yeah, now. Yeah, we, we can't show them. It's just... They, they would stop watching. They would... like a wall of fire with these candles over here. Too. I know. <laughs> I know. I love my it's candles. They, um, they, my, uh, my mess here. I don't know. I, I'm embarrassed to show anybody. I'm glad the camera can't pan around. Okay. So we're going to score these cards. Did you do my lavender one too? Oh, no. <laughs> Can I get one? <laughs> We're scoring these. This is a four and a quarter by 11 inch card base. And we scored it at five and a half inches. So there's yours, Rena. And here is mine. Thank you very much. Okay. So now, 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 now. So this is going to go onto the card base. I love how just different the two sets are, yet you can do such similar techniques with them. And mixing and matching the different leaves and flowers too. It's always so fun. Okay. Alrighty. So now we both have our card bases there. Now let's lay this out first before we put anything down. I already put my tape on. Oh, you did? Okay. My bad. Well, I'm not sure how I want to do mine yet. So I think I want to do, do the oval my in the center. Flower. And then I always like to lay things out first. That's just me. Others will vary. See different. Yes. So I'm going to just do a little leaf sprig like that. And then one over here like that. Kind of like the way that looks. And then... I'm using the hello, so I'm going to do the hello here. And then down here, it'll give me room to stamp. So you need room for your love. And you know what I do, just so that you know, with these, can I show you something? that sure. I Or can I show them something? I know you would probably know this already. But what, sometimes what I do is I'll just trim that down because it is awfully big. Mm -hmm. And so you could, I know you have this great fade here, but I'm going to cut your fade off. All right. <laughs> and then, you know, you could go shorter with a vine like that. Okay. So just an idea. I can't put it back together you now. <laughs> Do you want it back together? No, it's fine. <laughs> it's art now. I wanted them to see that they could do that. <laughs> them see on your own project. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to put mine up higher. I'm going to put my broken tree. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to leave the flower there. I'm going to pop my flower up, so I have to just have it in place so I know where to position the leaves around it. So I'm going to just have one there. I'm sorry if I oh, no. changed the whole trajectory you made it better. of your project. I do that sometimes. I, I get in the way. I'm a meddling mother. That's oh, no. what I do. It will work hard great. at that. <laughs> okay. I like those two leaves together like that. That's kind of fun. Tom's laughing off to the side. Hopefully there's other mothers out there that are, um, <laughs> Cindy said, I liked Rena's the way it was before. I agree, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, who paid Cindy to say that? <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> Me and Facebook changing my profile picture to make that comment. Or my <laughs> name on Facebook. Oh, you're Cindy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it is what it is. So I'm going to just use two foam squares on the back of mine. And then I'm going to use glue for my love. 
I'm not my love. Did you already glue yours down? Yeah, but I don't like where it is. What dyes did you use for what, this one there? What, what? The big paper, the white and black. The white and black. Yes. Oh, um, so this this piece is the white piece is three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches, and then the black is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Wow, you're good. There we go. I can't believe you were able to get that off of there. I mean, there's definitely some spots that are not okay. So where are those little stamp sets? Here's a little hello. Here's a little love. You know what? Could you could you stamp? Yeah, I don't like this. With? I don't like this paper thing on here. You Let me just do something stamp different. All right, there. well here, I'll give you this. I'll just stamp it at the bottom. Oh, yes. Mono sand Mono Sandy Racer gets off Anything that, uh, any glue that's in places mm -hmm. you don't want Good it to Good for those be. little pieces of paper. Um, so I'm going to put my hello here. And then I can stamp how have you been down here. I actually want to like bring it up over. And I don't mind when parts of my dies go up over things that are popped up. I like the way it looks. So can I have a smaller greeting? Yeah, I just need something little right here. Something small. I messed up, y'all. We're rolling with it at this point. That works, yeah. Are you sure? Wait, wait. That might not. That might be. I have the No, Mom, that thing. works perfect. Really? It, it, what do you have? Okay. <laughs> I'm like, really? Um, how about, like, one of these? Like, I'm here for you, or how about that? For sympathy card. I thought that said, I'm so shy. <laughs> no, you're sorry. All right, so I'm going to use the Connect Glue for this. And when I do a really intricate um, piece like this, let me find a little scrap piece of paper in my drawer here. Here's a scrap that I just tore. I like to put some glue. Do you want the misty or are you good? I'm good. Okay. I have to put some glue on a scrap piece of cardstock like that. And then I just tap it with my finger to get glue all over it. Just because it's so detailed and delicate, it's kind of hard not to like squirt glue all over those tiny little stick areas. That works perfect. Oh, that looks great, Rena. Yeah, I like that better. You know, what would have made the card is if that long vine had been... <laughs> Snitch it more. Let's just cut it all apart. Let's just have all the leaves separate from each other. You can use the 15% discount more than one week. You sure can. You can use the 15% discount as many times as you want. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. I know this is crazy, but I'm going to put it right there like that. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp down here at the bottom one of the strip sentiments that go like, I think of you often, or hope you're doing well, or I really miss you. I'm going to use I really miss you. That's like my most used one on here because COVID. Yeah. I mean, really, you know, it has just, your card is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Turned out really pretty. I really miss you. There's so many people I miss. I'm sure you guys all feel the same way. I am going to test this just to make sure. Yep. Okay. Wish me luck. I'm going in. I'm nervous. Here we go. Here we go. So there's my finished card. Here is Rena's finished card. Beautiful. Those flowers do look and really cool. Don't the flowers just look so they interesting? They look like mandalas. They really do. And that technique just, I don't know. It just, it just really, I stuck this together. Oh, man. <laughs> Let me get this. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let me get my, my beautiful background here. I'm putting my background down. Here, this is my background. This is where I photograph everything. Okay. On this piece of paper. On this piece of paper. This is the what I've photograph everything on and we're going to zoom in like we were just doing a photo shoot here 
There we go. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that. Don't you feel so good now when you see it like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so just a quick review. I have to pull it back a little more because of um, focus. So I used the A Little Hello stencil bundle to make my card. And the stamp set that I used to create the detail is the beautiful Bees stamp set by Melanie Menchinger. And I used this one and Rena used this one down here. That's how we got our details. Rena used the A Little Love layering stencil bundle. And for her greeting, she added, I'm so sorry from the Nurturing Blooms stamp set. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, first, I would love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up, if you like the video. If you didn't like the video, we'll accept a thumbs down, right? Because all it, interaction yeah. is good interaction, but we'd really love you to give us we a thumbs up. We definitely prefer it to be a thumbs up. <laughs> definitely. Um, also, you can subscribe to our channel, my channel here, and you'll be able to get notifications if you hit the notification bell anytime we go live or anytime I post something on my community tab, it will all come through on your feed. So I would love you to subscribe. If you are watching us on Facebook, later on in our Facebook group, I will be posting high quality pictures of these. I'll also be posting high quality pictures of these on my community tab on YouTube. All of the pieces, bits and pieces, and stamp sets, and dies, and everything that I used in my project and in Rena's project, um, I'll be listing all of that in the description box on YouTube. So when you go to the YouTube video, you could click on the description box, and all the stamps, every color that we used, all the details will be listed there, so you'll be able to get all the scoop, and you can make these cards yourself. Well, this was so much fun having you here. Misha, you were fun. such a good boy. Yeah, he just woke up. He's oh, like, what time is such it? a good boy. I love this dog. Well, you guys, thank you so much for joining us. You made our lunchtime really fun. We hope we made yours fun too. I'll be back on Monday night with another video. So look for a notification for that. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you all so very much. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.